Hey, what's going on guys? XD here back again with another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I am back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be using a plugin called Scalar. It's been out for a while but I was waiting to get it. I heard about it for a long time and I've been waiting so I can get my hands on it and get to use it. There's a lot of videos out there on the internet and most of the guys are using it to make hip hop and other styles. So today in this video I'm going to be making some deep house using this plugin because it's a chord generator. You can use it to generate chords and bass. So I've shown you in other videos ways you can generate chords using stuff like Ease Keys and Cthulhu to you know to get you some nice chord progressions going. So today we're going to be using Scalar because I believe it's one of the best plugins that you can use to generate chords and create your own melodies and so forth. So uh, if you go to Plugin Boutique, you can see the price here. It's actually like forty nine dollars. It's 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 fairly cheap. It's not as expensive. You know depending on what your budget is but i think it's worth um the price for what it can do for you so that's what we're going to get into today i'm going to show you how you can uh, produce with it very quickly and generate chords and be able to make something that will make sense i know it's a problem for a lot of us where we can uh, not be able to actually play our own chords especially if you don't know uh, music theory so now uh let's begin it's it's fairly easy to use um what i like to use uh, what i like to do with scalar basically is come here to songs and pick a style that works for me so uh i'm gonna be making house so i can come in come in here to house and load like a house uh song and then i just click and it'll play uh the chords so it has its own uh piano sounds and if i come over here to the speaker uh, side over here i can click on here and i can change the sound um to electric piano And you can hear that the chords actually sound like house chords. And if I change it, maybe pick a second one, number two. And you can change the type of chords that are here. Like you see here, this is a J, uh, G7, a G minor seventh. And it says try it here. I can actually change, change it to a ninth. And to an 11th to a 13th you know and so forth so I can change and modify the style of the chords down here but I'm just gonna uh, play around just here on top and just pick out some chords so let's set our tempo to like 120 and I put the metronome on Try something that's gonna make sense. Let's check the other chords in the other preset and house three. Okay, let me say no. Okay, there we go. That those doesn't sound housey. I think we'll stick to this one. And also we can change the style of chords here. I'm just gonna select minor scale. Let's see, major scale. That's actually very nice. So this is our first chord F minor. I'm just gonna drag it and drop it on these empty, on these empty uh, slots over here. That's when I can uh, choose the chords and in the order that I want. And that one. So now that I have my chords selected over here, I can uh, change them and I can uh, try play them. So I can hear the progression. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag these chords and drop them into a channel. 
there we go now I have all the chords and piano roll imported just like that that easy so this is a very quick way you can generate chords now let's uh, use these chords to make something that actually makes sense I'm gonna load a plugin in here I'm gonna load hypersonic and I'm just gonna go here to electronic pianos and I'm gonna load soft vintage EP so as you can see it loaded all these uh, chords in like one bar so I'll just need to stretch that out just put those there and drag them out till four bars there we go control A to select all and control L for legato so that they extend and touch the next then this last one I can just drag and drop all the way so then let me play them back Really sounds amazing eh? so now I can just lower the velocity just to make sure that they're nice and soft and then I can now try to play around with syncopation and so that they're not starting exactly um, with the beat like right here on two I just want to push them back a little bit drag this one back Then also do the same for this one. Now I'm going to load these to my playlist. There we go. Now we have that four bars and I'm going to create a new pattern. Drop it down there and then I'm going to make some drums. I'm going to go into my essay, Deep House Sample Pack. Links in the description for everything I'm using. Even the link to where you can get Scalar to the um, Plugin Boutique website. It's also down below. Fill in four steps. I'm actually going to extend these and make it two bars of my uh, drum loop. Just raise the swing a bit. Let me play it with the, the keys. Let me add a clap. So you also got to keep in mind that you can switch these chords around as you like. Like for instance, if I want maybe to switch that chord out with that one, I can also do that depending on how it sounds. So I can just move these chords like this, maybe have it start with that one instead of this one. So you don't have to settle with anything that you, that you started with, basically. Or to make things interesting I can actually just make this progression like a two uh, chord progression I can actually delete these ones and make it more deeper like um, you're gonna hear what I mean let me just do this I'm just cut here in the middle Just like that. Then I can chop right here at the end. I think that's much more interesting. Now let's add some let's, let's add some hats. I 
there we go go back to the drum pattern I'm just gonna fill in each four steps and shift these See if I can add a symbol like that one and have it go with the kick. Now let me add some shaker. That's good enough. Then maybe I can add a crash. A crash at the beginning of this loop. Then I can duplicate to make it eight bars. Okay, that's too loud. I'll just drag that down. sounds very nice so now that you have chords what you can do now at this point is you can now start layering you can now start adding other sounds I'm just gonna use uh, something simple um, maybe I can use GMS and just use the, the pads that they have in here I'm gonna use pad one copy the same pattern and throw it in there and I'm gonna load a morphine and look for something nice Okay, let me add those short notes. actually make those shorter I'm just gonna come here and add half step make those shorter. much nicer so I just want this to be one bar so I'm just gonna add it to a uh, to its own pattern and just clone this so I can use the same plugin for a different sound <laughs> Very nice. So I'm just gonna build a nice progressive melody using the ghost notes. So I'm gonna build my uh, my melody in the same channel that's uh, that's that's where uh, in the channel where the chord where the chords are in. Sorry. So that's why I'm gonna make um, my uh, my melody and then I'm gonna take them out of here into their own channel. I actually like this beginning part. There we go. So I'm going to drag all of this 
But matter of fact, I'm just gonna take it out of here and as I said, put it on its own channel and then drop it in like this. And then if I play it back. time to add some bass I want to go into my uh, deep house bass sample pack I'm gonna add some log you can check out my store to, uh, to get all of my packs my drum kits and all my presets just uh, check out my store and you'll get everything that I'm using in this video so I'm gonna go back again to where the chords are and I'm gonna just go into the piano roll of the log drum and see nice and simple awesome now I can copy those over make sure they're in the right place them over again and then I'm gonna switch it up on these last ones okay my bad that's the wrong one that's right. And then lastly, I'll just uh, throw in a plugin that's just gonna do a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, chord stab work. I think I'll just add purity, and in purity, I'm gonna go to fast synths. I'll look for something, something nice and simple. And then I'll just copy these notes again, and then I'll just chop them and um, move them around. Okay, that's not so interesting. Let me choose another one. Let me move these out the way. Oops. Smaller, right? Yeah, I like those first two. Okay, so now let me remove these stabs out of here and put them in their own channel and drop them in and then I can fine-tune the sound or I can uh, look for a better sound to make the sound better I'm gonna load it to a track to a mixer track and where's my mixer okay there it is it's hiding from me. Then I'm gonna load it into some reverb. Give the reverb longer delay. Okay, I think. 
think that one time is fine. nostalgic uh, template and add this sound here just right here at the beginning load a hell of amount of reverb and just cut out the lows and the highs and um, what else can I do I don't want that um, that sound in this this uh, I think it's a, a walkie-talkie sound. I'm just going to trim that out. And also use the same one and load it to the same channel. Also has that stuff at the end, that bleep sound. Also check out my my track uh, 138 in progress. This is the same sample that I use. You can also get um, this nostalgic deep house template on my store as well. Sounds amazing. So that's it, guys. Um, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about Scalar. If you would want to get it yourself and own it, but I feel like it's a, a great plugin to have. If you know you're not going to be good, or you know you're not so good at um, music theory and creating chords, and you know uh, getting to actually play your own MIDI keyboard and whatnot, it's a great tool to have that will have you creating music much quicker. I'm all about making music smarter instead of working too hard and trying to figure these things out because it's very difficult and times are moving, styles are changing. So let me know down below what you think about this, what you think about the track that I made. Would you want me to finish this and release it? And you know uh, what do you think about Scalar? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it till the end. Some people don't even make it till the end of the video. And they miss out on so much great stuff that I have to show you here. But thank you so much for chilling with me today. I'm going to check you out in my next video. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of great content. Remember to click, to click the bell icon so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Drop me a like down below as well. I'm going to check you guys in my next video. I am X and I'm out. Peace.